Thank you and welcome to Lyrical Opera Theater's virtual interview. Today our guest is Madeline Hunter and Madeline is going to be appearing in Lyrical Opera Theater's production of Carmen this fall as Nicaela, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. So we'd like to take a few minutes to get to know a little bit about you, Madeline. So thank you so much for doing this for us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Perfect. It's exciting. All right, so I'm going to go through some questions, just have you share with us a little bit about yourself through these questions, and then if there's anything at the end that you want to share, feel free to do that. So what was your first experience with musical performance, whether that be instrument or a voice type of situation? So my mom always sang to us before we'd go to bed, and I grew up going to church and singing all the time. Um, the first time I really like did a deep dive um because i did like musicals and everything like that all growing up as a teenager but the one experience that like really touched me in terms of opera was my freshman year at brigham young university i went and saw their production of le noce di figaro and i was like i want to be able to do that and so i started taking lessons and got in eventually so fabulous that's wonderful so and that actually led to the second one how and when did you come to perform or sing opera so you obviously were inspired by this event mm -hmm. um, yeah what what, uh, what and happened from there i started i had been taking a basic vocal skills class at byu and um my teacher was a grad student in the voice department and so I was like, hey, can I take private lessons from you? Um, and that's when I started to really get into, oh, like this is the classical music genre. And like I knew about it because I'd sung in choirs and I'd done solo festival in high school and stuff, but she brought a new light to it that I had never seen. Um, and she helped me discover that I could sing high because when I was growing up, I never, I was always put as an alto because I have quite a dark voice. And so they're like, oh, we need you as an alto all the time. And um, so it was the first time I really started to experience singing high. Nice, nice. Yeah, it seems like those people that have that really high range, it's like, you got to get them involved in opera, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is the most, to you, what is the most challenging aspect of singing and performing opera? I mean, depending on the opera, so with Carmen, I, I'm actually quite, I'm just like a blip in time with my role, um, but it's just pacing yourself, not going too fast, too, too quickly, like not going too hard, too fast. So um, like when I sang in Pagliacci with Lyrical Opera Theater last year, it was all about, okay, I, once I'm on stage, I'm on stage. So I've got to pace myself and just keep going. Um, and so it's things like that. It's just making sure that you've always got that breath underneath you. And then really telling the story. Because we do all this work with the technique and everything on our own time. But then once you're on to performance, you're there to tell a story. If I come across as myself, then I didn't do my job. Okay. In other words, actually getting into that character and being mm -hmm. able to bring that character out to the to the audience. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Nice, nice. And of course, I got to witness that in your Pagliacci, which was fabulous. Oh, thank so, you. And we'll get to see you do that again as Micaela and, and Carmen. Mm -hmm. so. Um, so how did you actually come to learn about Lyrical Opera Theater? So I had some friends a few years ago who were doing Lucia with Lyrical Opera Theater. Um, and I'm really excited because one of those friends, Daniel Perez, is doing Don Jose, and I'm hopeful that I'll get to sing in his cast with him. Um, he and I knew each other at BYU, and then he transferred to UVU, and we've kept in contact. And it'll be fun to reunite after so many years. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't seen the the cast lineup, so that would be cool if you guys were in the same cast. So, 
Uh, let's see. You are performing, of course, Michaela in Lyrical Opera Theater in the fall production. So share with me how you're going to prepare for that role. Yeah, so uh, I have seen Carmen several times and I know the story. Um, it helps that I speak French, so um, I can really, really understand what's going on. Um, and for me, I always like to give my character a background that's outside of the opera. What has happened up to this point where she's now in this story? Um, and I've been thinking about this, and Micaela to me is to show this contrast. She and Carmen are this big contrast. Carmen is very carnal, very lustful, very wild, right? Untamable. And then Micaela is very pure. She's very innocent. She's very sweet, docile, right? So um, I, I feel like that's what I get to do is I get to be this big contrast between all of the action that's going on. I get to be this like pillar. <laughs> nice. I've never thought about it that way, but you put it beautifully. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now I'm really excited to wait for the opera to come out so I can watch it. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see, I did have let's see, one more here. So if there was one thing that you could share with our audience about yourself, what would you like to share? Don't ever give up. So it took me years to get into BYU's program for performance. And now that I've graduated, I feel like my voice has exploded and it's just starting to create new colors and, and never miss an opportunity to share with your community the gifts that you have, whether that's music or maybe you're really good at cooking or maybe you're amazing at art, like whatever it is, always share it. It's so important to share what we have to create unity as a community. Nice, nice. And of course, from somebody who has, like I said, seen you perform, um, I've experienced your talent and I can't wait for others to get to see that and experience it again because it is beautiful. It's phenomenal. Uh, oh, it, it's, it's a pleasure to watch you perform and to, sing, to hear you sing. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to our, our listening audience? that Come to opera. It's yeah. so important. My voice students always complain when I have them do classical, but I'm like, I promise there will come a point in time where you're going to be grateful for this because you'll be able to sing whatever you want. And it starts with this technique that we learn as classical musicians. And that's how we can get the pop music. That's how we can get music theater. Keep an open mind, keep an open heart. It might just touch you. Yeah, and I agree. I think opera, if you let it, it can touch you so deeply. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, I, I so appreciate your time. And again, I look forward to seeing you in Carmen and hopefully having other events like this where we have a chance to share with, with our audience those personal things about you and, and just bring them in and invite them into our lives. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Debbie. Thank you, I appreciate it.